Hello and welcome to episode 4 of The Wolf Among Us in Sheep's Clothing. This uh, is a little bit later than I'd like. Um, yeah, it only came out today or oh, yesterday. It's kind of confusing due to I don't know, time zone conflictions. Um, but anyway, it's here. I'm ready to do this. Um, after last time, I am pumped, so I just want to get this thing started, and, uh, let's, let's just, let's just do it, alright. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? The old, in with the new, long live the queen. Hmm. Interesting. So, a bit of a review there of the last three episodes, all in one go. business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. <sighs> if I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Ow. Oh. To move. God. Get the fucking scissors out of me. Jeez. Oh. We can't keep needing this way, old boy. <laughs> I agree. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. Oh, fucking hell. There's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Ow, sweetheart. How bad is it? No, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. Ooh. I must say, we're testing even my skills here. What the hell have you seen, then? This is pretty <laughs> fucked up. Please, Big B, don't move it. <laughs> Doctor. Yeah, just look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. <laughs> but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. This ain't the walking dead. I know Telltale will make it, but whatever. Oh, Jesus. Freaking out. Ah, oh, that's messed. Yeep. It didn't. It didn't work. Eep. Okay. Oh boy. My apologies for the button mashing. <laughs> yeah, that required the yellow eyes. No doubt about it. Hmm. 
Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. Yeah. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. Well, I don't know about uh, that. Well, he should. <laughs> there are limits to what even... Yeah, I come on, guys. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. <laughs> Just relax. Hey, I'm in the room. Come on. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. Instead of trying to seduce us both. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Uh. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... Oh, come on. We'd appreciate the headroom. Stick around. Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. <laughs> oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. Is that right? We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Oh, but, but. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because <laughs> I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Oh, come Where on, am I take. supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Colin. With what? Your boobs? Hey, listen, please, lady. Please, keep it down. Yeah, come on, he needs. Thank you. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest <laughs> cut open? Yeah, come on, yes, guys. That would be helpful. <sighs> Ugh. There, all done. Thank you very much. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. No. Nah. And well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shells as you fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart. The only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Uh-huh. Check. Miss White. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. What's that mean? He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. The excuse? His body will eventually give out. Uh, Take care of him, please. Ain't the baby. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I can still hear you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, call him. Swiney. Aw, oh, I get it. Swiney. Call Was this swine supposed to be a pig? Ah. This swine. Yeah, you get it. Fridge time. Booze time. So, how do you, um, feel? Mmm. <laughs> it's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Ah. Uh, well, I've seen him take worse. Yeah. Not much worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. He's good. He's good. I'm glad you're not dead. <laughs> Me too. Hey, I said that to her. You, mm. uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. Ugh. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Oh, there, there. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought- Come you on. I'm pretty hard to kill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the main character. Come yeah, on. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin. I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. <laughs> the guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Interesting well, analogy. Get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan you or something? don't need to know, dude. And who should I be asking? Uh, should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is nah, I'm leaving still it up to Snow. Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. Ah, the crooked man came good. out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Probably the, if those the are my first. two options, 
I don't think I'd pick desperate. Yeah. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary yeah. just murder. I I don't yeah. blame her. Uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. Yeah, she she meant no right. No problem. Thanks. She meant well. You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop, or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? Uh, we're all mad about it. Yeah, Colin. Colin. But it's Where the hell like we were you? Choice in Jesus life. Christ! You weren't there, Colin. So just drop it. Okay, okay. Come on. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? Well, we all want answers. I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. I gave that it away. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Mm. Crane can't be useful to him anymore. I don't so know. what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Girl. You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <laughs> Ooh. Remember what Swineheart said, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm main character material, come on. Declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought. Seems like it. Happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. Hmm. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? Yeah. What do you think Curious. I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds <sighs> like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give oh, him a leash. Gosh. He doesn't work that way. Come on. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. Doing what we can. It's not good enough. Ugh. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight oh, as an come arrow. on. Pure as driven snow. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of... Sure you're not. This town has <sighs> enough monsters. Cameo! What no, happened last I night, can't. what you turned into, it can't happen again. Halo joke, monsters. by the way. The fight monsters. Uh, Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith and Yeah, I, I was I was pretty him. pissed off. Just they kinda shot me with shotguns, done. okay? Be done and buried and we can all Come on, Snow, think. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? Oh god. I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Yeah, huh? Well, if that's the case. Please explain to Colin why ripping Gren's Here we go. was necessary. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> can't let up until the fight is finished. He was, he was still a threat, and that's all there is to it. Sure. <laughs> Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. <sighs> so for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. <laughs> He'll get the job done. Just let him do yeah, it. Yeah, come on. I can I'm do this. To... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. You have my respect? What the hell? And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go oh, and stay at the... Oh, give me a fucking break. Shit. Are you going to let her talk to me like that? <sighs> it's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Oh, and Bigby my... knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. Ugh. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig. Not a mouse with a hat and a cane. Right, just, they know what a calm pig the is. Fuck down. Come it's not on. the end of the world. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be? Oh, baby? don't. D no, it's not my decision. Who the hell is calling at this time of night? Wolf's residence. That's rude. <laughs> Buffkin, what is it? Hey, Buffkin. Okay. 
I'll let him know. Thanks. So what's the hack? Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? Huh? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. <laughs> I don't, Something about your I don't know. demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. Hmm. I haven't the slightest. <laughs> okay. Hey, don't don't I be like that. To the business office. Jeez. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Hey, he's doing what he can. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yeah. You do it here. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Oh, come on, Snow. Don't... I know when you're done with Nerissa. Yeah. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. She's a piece of work. Now, now. Hey, you're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? No, Colin, I mean, you're my buddy. You seem real serious no. about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Come on, buddy. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Rose before horrors. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. No offense to any ladies. Your friendship is more important than the fucking rules. And I take that into life. Seriously. Despite anything, you know. What's the point of following the rules if you don't have people there to back you up? But I don't know. That's just how I see it. Hello.